You know what happened at the clinic today? Was everything all right? Yes, but I was in the middle of examining a patient and the light went off due to some technical fault. Then what happened? Thank God we had a generator for this type of emergency. Auntie, I have a question. If such type of energy occurs in our body, then what will happen? I mean, if the power-making molecules, which are NAD-making ATP, face such type of disaster, then what will happen? We will be dead under 30 seconds. Oh my god! Yes, therefore, our body makes it in large quantities, and it is present in the number of grams. The thing is, when we exercise, or fast, or make healthy life choices, they are increased in numbers. But if we don't do what our body requires from us, then we'll lose NAD because it is the sensor of adversity. The problem is, as we get older, we make less NAD and we also destroy it more for reasons that we don't fully understand. But it leads to a decline in our ability to fight off aging and the diseases that it causes. So that's why there are supplements that are thought to help because they'll boost up those older levels of NAD to where they were when you were young. So, can these supplements be termed NAD boosters? But first, we'll talk about the most taken used, one of which is NR, which stands for nicotinamide riboside. Does it make a difference? It may make a difference, but NR has been taken over the counter or through websites for quite some time, and companies have been selling them with a combination with other molecules. Doesn't it have side effects? The thing is, because it's been pretty well studied in humans, there have been plenty of human studies, at least in the short term, which show little to no side effects. This is a pretty safe molecule, that's for sure. We know that if you take it as a supplement to swallow the pill, either 250 milligrams per day or a gram, there are no apparent negative side effects. And in fact, you will raise NED levels in blood tests. So I think this is an important distinction to make, though. Like, there's a difference between safe and effective, right? Just because we say something is safe doesn't mean it's going to work enough. And in fact, sometimes things that are the safest aren't going to work at all. And that's why they're so safe, is they don't have any effect. But we do know that NR is largely safe. You know, millions of people around the world take it. You told me about human studies, but you didn't mention anything about animal studies because everything is tested first on animals? Let's go in the kitchen and make some snacks while we talk about it. Okay, let's go. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and get notified.